Now, while I'm inside, I can also choose my language. It can be English, can be anything else like German, like Chinese, like Japanese, and so on. Let's stay with English. So, inside the online studio, I have four tabs. I have the Creative tab, I have the Playlist tab, the Players tab, and the Groups tab. Let's start with the first one, with the Creative. Now, what does it mean, Creative? Creatives are the building blocks of every playlist. And now we ask yourself, what is a playlist? Well, a playlist is actually like in the radio, which you have a song after a song after a song. Now, in this case, it's a creative after creative after creative. So, practically, the creatives are the building blocks here. Now, you have three types of creatives. You have two types of simple creatives, which can be either a video creative or image creative, and you also have the more complex one, which is called blended creative, or sometimes we even call it a slide. So next question would be how to create creatives. So first thing, let's do this, let's press the Add button. Now pressing the Add button brings me to my library. This is the library of my media items, where I have all my videos and images which I can upload from my PC. So, at the moment it's empty, there's no media to show, but let's upload a couple of things. So, this is from my desktop. I'm going to upload a couple of images, like that, and this one. Now I was going to upload all those images into my library. I can press close and I can find them here. Now let's upload maybe a video or two. Let's upload this one and maybe this one. Now, usually for Windows player and for Android player, and also for Chrome OS player, you have to use the MP4 video format, while if you use the old Air player, which is based on Adobe Air, you'll have to use the FLV flash format. Now, for images, you have to use either JPG or JPEG or PNG or GIF. These are the supported formats for images. So, it's almost done. After uploading those two videos, you can see that thumbnails are being created. This is what you see here in the left. And that's about it. Now, ready I've just uploaded two videos I can close it and if I look here I see that I have a couple of media items I can filter and see that all the images or I can also filter by video and see all my videos which are only two now if I click any of them I can see the properties of that video I can even see a preview I see the dimensions, the size, the duration, and the same goes if I do with an image. I'll click this one, I can see the dimensions, the size, the name. You can also change the name here, it's also possible. And if I would like to delete items from my library, I can also do it here. That means I can stand here, I can put the cursor on any of them, highlight it, and then press the delete button. Now it's going to ask me if I'd like to delete a file permanently and I can press delete or cancel. In this case I'm going to cancel. So, now if I press cancel nothing happens here in the creative tab, but I'll click again the add button and it will take me back to my media library. 
and inside my media library I can see all my media items that means videos and images so now I would like to do this I would like to create a couple of simple creatives I'm gonna choose this video the first one and also this and this and also let's pick this image three images and one video are now highlighted and I'm going to press the OK now selecting them and pressing OK does the following thing it makes them actually turns them into simple creatives so now like originally I had those four image creatives simple image creatives which I can access each one of them and update it there's nothing much to update maybe except the name or the default duration the same I can do here with these I can access this image I can see the image also I see the properties of it I can change the duration also change the name if I like and press the update now the duration is actually a default duration which will be used as default duration in the playlist later same goes with a video you can click that video see the size dimensions the creation date even a preview so what have I done till now actually I uploaded a couple of files that means video files and image files from my desktop into my media library inside my NoviSign account and also some of them I turned into simple creatives such as this video creative and these image creatives I can also see that there's a difference here if I look at this little icon left to the name of the creative I can see that this one has uh, this looks like a video while the other ones like this or this or that they look differently because they are supposed to represent image simple creative